We're joined by NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei. He spent six months on the International Space Station and did four spacewalks. Mark, how do you train for a spacewalk on Earth? On Earth, we use one of the largest pools, if not the largest pool on the planet, in the Neutral Buoyancy Lab. It's 40 feet deep, 100 feet wide, and 200 feet long, with a full-scale mock-up of the exterior of the space station, which is where he worked. Now, we actually got a chance to see you do some of the training in the Neutral Buoyancy Lab, and so we've got an experiment here we want you to help us with to kind of learn how that works. So what we have here is just a, a simple bottle filled with water, and we have put a ketchup packet inside. Now, right now, there's a small air bubble inside that ketchup packet. And Mark, if you give this bottle a squeeze, we will increase the pressure in that bottle and we'll see what happens. That ketchup packet is going to sink down because we've increased the pressure inside the bottle. That air bubble gets smaller, increases the density and it goes down. Now, if you let go of the pressure, it'll come back up. And in the neutral buoyancy lab, that ketchup packet would kind of float in the middle because you've got it so it's not going down, it's not going up, it's just floating there in the middle. Mark, how does this compare to the training in the neutral buoyancy lab? So if you imagine this ketchup packet being an astronaut in a spacesuit, to get that person to be neutrally buoyant, to stay at the, the height that we'd like, we actually have divers that stay around the astronaut who's training and they'll add weights to different parts of the spacesuit to change the mass associated with that system of the astronaut and the suit. Mark, when you're in the pool, the suit floats, but do you? <laughs> no. No, in fact, uh, that's one of the things that makes that training sometimes very uncomfortable. You're basically in that spacecraft of the suit, riding along inside of it. So if you're upside down, the suit floats nicely, but all of your weight could be sitting on your shoulders as you're upside down. And how does that compare to an actual spacewalk? Is a spacewalk more comfortable? The spacewalk is more comfortable once you get over the sensation that you're 250 miles above the Earth <laughs> with nothing between you and uh, the Earth but the visor. In fact, that's one of the things we have to train for because I was used to having to overcome water resistance in the pool. But in space, once I started myself moving, I didn't have to keep adding force to keep myself moving. Nothing was going to stop me. Now, this is an experiment that you can do in your classroom. You can do some Cartesian diver training, and all of the other students will have to catch up.